gate 1997 question a very simple question from the normal forms from the normalization in dbms okay so a relation is given to you a database relation r a b c d four attributes are given and the domains include only atomic values so automatically what it means automatically this means what domain include or, or atomic values okay where the domain include atomic values only atomic values so this simply means that it is in one nf right okay yes or no this r is in one nf correct this relation is in first normal form because the domain of all the attributes they include only atomic values that is the definition of first normal form only the following fds uh, they hold okay only the following fds hold and that can be inferred by them okay so these fds are holding a determine c b determine d these fds are holding okay so now let's solve this question so let me tell you one thing this is same question has come the exactly same question not even a word change not even a comma change okay the exactly same question has come four other times see this is one time get 1997 this is one time get 1997 another time ugc 2013 another time nilit 2016 another time isro 2018 another time ugc 2017 most of the time they copy the gate questions so this question is copied four times so let's see this is a simple question so r relation a b c d these are the attributes so first of all you find out what are the candidate keys so can you notice which attribute is not on the rhs of any fd which attribute is not on the rhs of these fds a comma b so a comma b must be part of every candidate key correct a comma b must be part of every candidate key let's see what they can bring ab can determine ab trivially this is this will happen trivially okay and you can notice a can determine c b can determine d so you can notice this is the only candidate key so what are the non prime attributes what are the non prime attributes what are the non prime attributes so definitely ab is the only candidate key so automatically the non prime attributes are c comma d these are the non prime attributes check two enough check two enough what is the method one the method one look at this fd ab determining c look at this fd is this full or partial look at this fd is this full or partial so this fd is because you don't need b yes or no agree you don't need b because a can determine c right c a can determine c a can determine c there is no need of b you don't need this b agree you okay a can determine c a can determine c a can determine c a can determine c so you don't need b this is not needed can you notice this is not needed we can remove it if you remove it still so this dependency is partial this dependency is not full this is partial dependency so this ab determining c can you notice this is a candidate key this is a candidate key and this is a non prime attribute this is non prime attribute can you notice can you notice this fd exist which fd exist candidate key determining non prime attribute this fd is partial this fd is a partial fd so this type of fd if this type of fd is partial fd if this type of fd is partial fd then your relation is what not into n right if this type of fd is partial fd then your relation is not into n because 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 what is happening what is happening that candidate key is partially determining candidate key is partially determining non prime attribute correct candidate key is partially determining non prime attribute so this is what is happening candidate key you have a candidate key candidate key is partially determining partially determining non prime attribute so this is not into nf so this is not into nf this is your method one of course you can apply the method two also the violation of two nf what is the violation of two nf violation of two nf what is that you can apply the method two that is violation of two nf when violation of two nf happens violation of 2nf happens when proper subset of a candidate key when proper subset of some candidate key okay where proper subset of a candidate key determines determines non prime attribute non prime attribute right okay so when proper subset of candidate key so here you can notice the proper subset of candidate key you have for example a okay that determines non prime attribute that determines non prime attribute that is c so definitely this is the violation of 2nf right 
this is the violation of 2NF. So not 2NF. So not in 2NF. But tell me, okay, this is the misconception. What, what is the misconception? This is full or partial. This is full or partial. Look at this FD. Look at this FD. This FD is full or partial. Look at this FD and tell me, is this FD full or partial? This is full FD. Remember, this is full FD. This is a misconception. This is a misconception. This is a wrong concept. Many students, they study this wrong concept. Okay. Many, many, many students, they study this wrong concept that this is partial. Okay. Remember, this is full. Why this is full? Because the definition of full dependency says that, can you remove something from here and still determine C? Tell me, can you remove something from here and still determine C? Can you, do you fully need A? Tell me, do you fully need A? Do you, do you, do you fully need A? Do you fully, do you fully need A to determine C? Do you fully need A to determine C? Do you fully need A? Fully need A to determine C? The answer is yes. So this is a full dependency. Is this clear? So this is a full dependency. You cannot remove something from here to determine C. You cannot remove something here. You cannot remove something from here and it should determine C. So remember, this is full dependency. This is full FD. This is not partial. Remember, this is not partial. If any student, if any student is thinking that this is partial, that is a misconception. That is a wrong concept. Okay. That is a wrong concept. And if you think this is partial, okay. If this concept has been taught to you, okay. If you have this misconception, you should study the normalization playlist of Go classes, or you should study the Navate textbook or the course textbook or the course original paper, or you can simply watch the normalization playlist on, on the Go classes YouTube channel. On the Go classes YouTube channel, the normalization playlist, complete playlist is available. Okay. So on the YouTube, you can search normalization Go classes. Okay. Normalization Go classes. You can search on the YouTube. You will find the complete playlist that complete playlist you can watch, or you can study Navate book, or you can study court book, basically whatever is standard resource, you study some standard resource because this is a misconception. Anyway, this relation is not into enough, right? This relation is a not into enough. So definitely your answer will be option A. If it is not into enough, then automatically it is not in three enough. Okay. Every violation of three and uh, two enough is also violation of three enough. So this is violation of three enough also. If you notice this A determine C, this is violation of three enough also, right? Why this is violation of three enough? Tell me why this is violation of three enough because this is not a super key. Because this is not a super key and this is non prime. And this is non prime. Okay. So this is violation of three enough also. 